All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Logic's chord track. I've seen a lot of comments uh, that we need to be able to take our MIDI data and turn it into chords. Now here's the thing that's very interesting. And you want to analyze a MIDI file. In this case, just the piano part I put down here. And that's already selected, so highlighted. I'm just going to analyze that real quick, and it gives me G, C, D, and G as the chords. So that is a video I made 11 years ago, back in the day, with Logic Pro. You could analyze the chords. That feature, the chord track was taken away, it was brought back, but we need to analyze the chord feature back as well. So the question is, why didn't they put it in there? Uh, and I'm sure if you guys want it back in there too, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure you do. What other things would you like to see in the chord track? Yeah, so that's something that's very interesting. I, I knew that they took the chord track away, but I forgot that you could actually analyze the chord. I just found this video on my channel. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog. All kind of Logic Pro stuff, free VSTs, music production stuff, Mac stuff, and everything else everything else well not everything else but you know what i mean anyways please do subscribe hit the notification bell let me know what you think let's bring the let's get the uh analyze core track or analyze mini data audio files back into logic let me know what you think